That is Shay Guevara, but we're not interviewing him today. No, he's. I think he's dead. No, we're going to interview this dude. How you doing, Jerome? All right, mate. How are you? I'm all right. I'm all right. Look, the word in the street is that you're not just doing stuff in Dead Cuts. You're doing something for some kind of movie. What's going yeah, on? Yeah, um, my friend James Bowen, he wrote a book some years back called A Street Cat Named Bob, and it was about his um, time when he was homeless and he found a cat outside a hostel and it just kept following him and following him and he could see that the cat was injured and so he took the cat in and got it seen to by the vet and then he just started writing stories about it the next thing he knew it was like a bestseller like you know and, uh, yeah. but they're making a movie on him and they've got some pretty big names like behind it it's going to be a proper production and uh, he just said to me like I'd really like a dead cuts number on there, so I think we're going to use the song Venus. Wow! And so yeah, it's not just a side project; it's actually the band. It's going to be the band, and um, I've spoken to Nathan for the Fat Whites about possibly doing a collaboration for it as well. Oh, mate, um, that's good news. Also, um, we're obviously writing the last. What the last? I want to say that's the second album, second Dead Cuts yeah, album. It's not the last album. No. Don't freak out the no. viewers. <laughs> the, 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 the um, I do have another one, um, in the pipeline. I've been working with uh, Steve Mackey of Pulp's Studio Four, no but I'm not way. allowed to say what it is because you have to. I it's can't. My I can't. You know what the rules are. Just candid. You've got to be just candid. because Truth. it's not my um. <laughs> Yeah, the, the guy I'm doing it with is kind of, and or by rights doesn't really want to like let the cat out of the bag before oh, everything's mate. signed, sealed, and delivered. Mate. But I can unequivocally um, say without a shadow of doubt that I will be doing the soundtrack for uh, or songs for the soundtrack for uh, a street cat named Bob. That makes me happy. Great. Does this make you happy? <laughs> I'm a fucking elated. This, <laughs> yeah. this is my friend Patrick. I, uh, hey dude, you rock. I completely and absolutely 100% support anything this fucking uh, geezer does. I, I love this hey. guy and I tell you what, you he's a fucking a genius. And Check him out. Okay. Check him out because like, I'm serious. I, I love Brian Wilson of the Beach Boys and if you mix Brian Wilson for the Beach Boys and Sid Barrett um, I don't want to just say those are the two sounds because he's got a real amalgamation okay. of interesting so you're, you're things. Oh, Have no, you got a link? No, Is no, there a link I can put on the screen, Sam? Hmm? What's the website? Yeah, Smith, give him give a link. What, man. What's your website? Uh, well, the solo stuff is on the Facebook and slash uh, Bo Brummel Music. Okay. Uh, all the solo stuff's on there. Um, Text this to me later. I I'm will too do. Drunk to he's, he's re you know. And I'd like to contribute to. Uh, yeah, yeah, we're yeah, gonna do yeah. something together for yeah. sure. So okay. That'd be great. You know? Cool, man. Like, dude, like that uh, book is everywhere. Like, it's time to inject the pop with some dark shit. I hope Venus walks <laughs> out in the studio <laughs> and you get it to link up to this book. It's all we can do, definitely. Till the beer is the wall. What did he say? I don't know. Till the people save the world. Okay, that was he said that and then he walks behind Che Guevara's uh, thing. And just ironic. That, that, so. that, we'll end on the ironic note. Say goodbye. Well, Dan. you know, can I just say one thing about Che Guevara? Oh, please do. I get this. Years and years ago, I went into a shop. Yeah. And um, it was like a 60s memorabilia shop. And I went in there and I said, um, Do you have any t shirts of Charles Manson? And they're like, No, oh, no, no, no. This. Yeah, yeah. And then they were like, I was like, there's loads of pictures of Che Guevara on the side, and they're like, we don't uh, reproduce uh, images of mass murderers. But I was like, well, for a start, oh, Charles Manson's not um, been accused, uh, isn't guilty of any of the crimes he was accused of, and plus he wasn't even allowed to defend himself in a trial of a jury um, because they were so convinced that he'd hypnotize a judge. Che Guevara. <laughs> What <laughs> slaughtered thousands of Cubans? Do you know what I mean? And 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 made no bones about saying it. So it's like that kind of is like well. So you want to have, you want to say no about stocking a T-shirt on someone that may or may not have killed someone. But then you you'll stock a T-shirt because of someone that did kill someone. How does that work? Do you know what I mean? 
And it's just because it became like a cool rebellion symbol, you know. And it's so funny, all these people that want to get behind communism and say like, oh, you know, compared to the Nazis, you know, they didn't kill anyone. You know, Pol Pot killed loads of people. Yeah. You know, he starved people to death, so... Anyway, let's not get too political. No, yeah. we'll get political again. In fact, that's okay. what's going to happen in part two when I see you again. Part two, Everything is cool. touching a point. Yeah, oh, that is a cool, cool cat. And, uh, <laughs> cool cat. Yeah. Goodbye, Jerome. Proudly was a cool cat. To be continued. Salut, poop. Salut. Ah, shame. Shame, you murdering bastard. Yeah, I'm going to do it.